So it's been two years since I last touched this project. I was cleaning my PC recently until I rediscovered this in my directory. Boy, I missed out on how cool this project was back then. I don't think it's the best bot created as it can definitely be improved, but it is what I was able to create at the time. At this time, I'm going to let past me explain it all step by step. Enjoy the video and I hope you gain something out of it. Before we jump straight into the code, we first need to understand how the game is played. Us as the player, we are located on the right side of the screen with these four arrows. It's our job as the player to hit the sequences as they first appear on the corresponding arrows. It's literally Dance Dance Revolution, but with a keyboard. So now that we kind of understand how the game works, let's get to coding. First thing we got to do is import the libraries. The Pi Auto GUI module is going to help the program detect where it's supposed to be looking at on the screen. The next module we're going to be using is the keyboard. This module is self-explanatory. I don't think any, no explanation needs to be said here. And the last library that I'm going to be utilizing here is the time library. The next variables X and Y are used for the program to reference the coordinates on the screen. So now I'm not sure what the values are here, but we can easily obtain the values there by simply doing this. We're going to be using the, the Pi Auto GUI so we can use this syntax right here so we can display the values for the current mouse position. So once I hit enter, you can clearly see that whenever I move my mouse, then you can see that the coordinates change. So for both X and Y and also take notice that we can also take a look at what the RGB values for pixels that we hover over. I'm going to be doing some tweaks here so that it's going to be beneficial for me to only enter the X coordinate once so that I don't have to do the rest of the three so that it'll automatically calculate what it's supposed to look like for the rest of the three arrows. The next thing that I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to apply a super loop so that the program can run infinitely until I put a key press. That way we can have a fail safe and well, we can exit the program whenever we want to. So now at this point in the game, we're pretty much almost done. We just need to do just one thing, which is detecting the respective color changes across the gray arrows. If the pixel color matches the arrow color, simulate the corresponding key press. We get the arrow colors by opening the game's arrow palette and using Pi Auto GUI, hovering the mouse over the arrow's color to get its RGB color on the console. So now we gotta be careful with how we implement the arrows here with the key presses because A corresponds to left, down corresponds to S, up is W, and right is D. Since this is literally the same thing, that the same procedure that we have to do for every single one here, it's just going to be a, a rinse and repeat, except the values for the RGB is going to be completely different, including the key presses. And just like that, we are done. So let's give it a whirl. Um, so it's doing terrible on the, on the tutorial. Shouldn't fail on the tutorial. I'm inclined to use my old code, but code... <laughs> It is doing so bad on the tutorial. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the long presses. The long presses are going to be such a difficulty. Oh. Oh, but it did that perfectly fine. It did that perfectly fine. It did that perfectly fine. Let's try sand panties and see how it does. No progress. Fantastic. I'm looking at the green bar, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yo, it's killed it. It maxed out. Let's freaking go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Yep. So now the next challenge is, is trying to figure out how to get the long presses to work. code to date for this program wait it's actually on a combo dude it's actually on a combo i never noticed that it's on a freaking combo it's already at 212 213 it's on a combo i never even realized that yo it did the full combo let's go <laughs> 
I love this. I love this. Let's see how well I can do guns. Daddy proud. Yeah, the long presses are gonna be an issue. So that's the only weakness that this bot has, is just doing the, the long presses. But besides that, it is just... Mm, mm, it is perfection. Come on, baby, you're, you're almost there. Come on, max it out. Max it out. Yep, so it's able to do guns flawlessly, except for the long presses. And it's and it's on a full combo, so, so I think it's official. The code that I have written up here is way better than my previous one. And that was totally unintentional and completely unexpected. So that, um, so that is massive bonus points for me. <laughs> nice. Okay, we can now we gotta try different mods for this. We gotta try mods. How well can it do on ballistic? That oh <laughs> I wanna try that. What? It's actually gonna fail over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Real f up. Everything! No, you stupid dumb of a broke kid. So I didn't I can't understand why I didn't do that the first time around. Um I wish I had an answer. It just behaves randomly. That's all I can say. All right, here we go. The ultimate stress test, ballistic. Let's see what you got. Look at it shredding those arrows! Oh man, that is insane! <laughs> Thank you. 
ballistic! <laughs> I was not expecting my code to be such a far improvement from my previous one. There is one other mod that we have to try. So for my recollection, the matte mod is by far the most hardest mod, well, excluding the Shaggy mod, but it is incredibly difficult. We are going straight into week two and see how it performs. <laughs> Already. All right, let's go. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to stand. <laughs> yeah, so about that last test, that may be too much for the program to handle because the errors are going way too fast for it to detect it. So, in conclusion, it, the bot is decently well. It doesn't do the long presses. That's its worst enemy right now. But this video has gone far too long. So I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm surprised it was able to do ballistic. I can't explain exactly why it has some weird and consistent behaviors. For this program in its current state, it can't do the mat mod because the arrows go way too fast for the program to detect it. So that's gonna be, that's also another challenge for another day. And I really do hope that y'all got something out of this. But with that being said, I'll see y'all next time.